Hi, I'm Frank Donald from Gadgetronics. Welcome to Circuit Series. This is the very first episode of our Circuit Series and I'm so excited about it. So, as the first episode, uh, today we are going to see about burglar alarm circuit. This circuit is built around IC555. So, uh, this is pretty much a simple circuit and e quite easy to understand. So, I have picked this for our first episode. Let's get started and see how it works. So, the idea of beginning this circuit is to detect burglaries and when an in, uh, intruder enters your house. So, this is going to be the tripwire. A tripwire should be tied across the pathways or the entrance to your house. When the intruder breaches this tripwire, it trips and it disconnects from the circuit and as a result we the circuit breaks and will get an alarm sound which will be an alert for us so that's that's pretty much simple right so that's the whole idea behind this circuit so let's see how it actually works this whole circuit is worked or constructed around a triple five timer ic and it works as a stable multi vibrator so many of you must have been aware that a stable multi vibrator is nothing but a vibrator which is capable of generating a pulse signal at the output something like this forgive my square wave so um, my uh, diagram is not so great so it is capable of generating square wave pulses in the output so that's that's what a stable multi vibrator will do and so uh, if you know about the working of triple phi ic it will be this circuit will be pretty much easy to follow and we have a article dedicated to working of ic triple five in our website i have left the link in the description below so you can go and check it out and have a read so you can you will get better idea about the circuit so coming back to our circuit this the main thing about this circuit is we have two important pins one is trigger which is second pin and another one is threshold these two are very important as far as uh, a stable multi vibrator is concerned the threshold pin is internally wired so that the voltage to this voltage input to this pin will be compared against 2 by 3 VCC of VCC I mean the applied voltage so threshold will be compared against 2 by 3 VCC right and and the same goes to the trigger pin but whereas trigger pin the input voltage to the trigger pin will be compared against 1 by 3 VCC so that's the difference between threshold pin 2 by 3 VCC, trigger pin 1 by 3 VCC, right? So when these two pins are connected together and it goes to C2, it is connected to C2, which means voltage across capacitor will feed input to these two pins, to the trigger as well as the threshold, right? So here the capacitor is connected to R2 and to R3 and to the VCC right so capacitor here will get charged from VCC through R3 R2 and it will increase in voltage the capacitor voltage will increase as a result right so this is pretty much the base of an a stable multi vibrator right so when you turn on the power supply that is here 12 volt is applied to this circuit the capacitor initially starts charging through r3 and r2 first initially um, c2 will be uh, the voltage across capacitor will be zero and therefore when you compare this to the trigger or the threshold zero it will be considered as zero so as I said before, the trigger pin comparison voltage is 1 by 3 VCC, right? So, since 
zero volt is below 1 by 3 VCC the output will be high the output this trigger pin that's why it is called as trigger so this trigger pin will trigger the output to give high output right there will be high logic so consider this as one one state right so as the voltage continues to go go in feed into the capacitor so the capacitor voltage starts increasing and once it crosses trigger pin uh, trigger pin voltage that is 1 by 3 vcc so if you calculate 1 by 3 vcc of uh, or 12 voltage we'll get somewhere around 4 voltage right we'll get 4 when it crosses 4 volt so uh, the trigger pin threshold has been sorry the trigger pin voltage has been breached but still it's not enough to change the state of output right when it increases further when the voltage continues to flow through and increases further our threshold voltage will be finally reached so what is our threshold voltage it's 2 by 3 of vcc so if you calculate 2 by 3 of vcc you will get somewhere around 12 into 2 24 24 divided by 3 you will get 8 volt right so when you will get 8 volt and when the capacitor voltage crosses the 8 volt so it means it will this threshold pin will force the output to obtain low state right so here is our low state and this is denoted as zero so this series of pulse this this is the square wave right so this here is a high state and here is a low state so what what happens here is once the uh, output of triple five timer goes low uh, interesting thing happen across this pin this is called a discharge pin here internally a transistor will be wired so when output goes low here the capacitor will start discharging through this seventh pin through this resistor r2 and to the seventh pin and the capa once it starts discharging the capacitor voltage drops when once it drops below threshold voltage the output won't change yet as but as it gradually drops down below trigger voltage that is 4 volt 1 by 3 vcc remember it again switches the output again switches back to high state right so this cycle repeats itself this cycle repeats itself and gives us a series of square waves right and the frequency of this square wave is decided by r2 r3 and c2 because these the capacitor is charging through r3 and r2 so it is being influenced r3 and r2 place and uh, important role in this meanwhile the capacitor is discharged through r2 so dis while discharging this is only the r resistor r2 will only influence the rate of discharge right so the frequency is decided by this right so this is how a triple five a stable multi multi vibrator works but there's one thing i i uh, that is critical to working of this particular circuit is this reset pin so even though we have wired this whole triple five timer as a stable multi vibrator this will not work until you have you connect the reset pin to vcc that is positive voltage positive that is logic high because as per the data sheet if you check out the triple five timer data sheet this reset pin is active low pin which means when you connect it to ground or low logic the whole um, triple five timer ceases to work and it will be reset right and this is where we are going to manipulate the reset pin to uh, make it work as a burglar alarm circuit so if you observe i have connected a small pull-up resistor to pull this to vcc voltage 
right so which means it is ready to be pulled high and start working but there is this trip wire is connected to ground right so as i have already told if you apply zero volt or logic low to reset pin the triple five timer will not work and it will not emit square wave pulse and there will be no signal at the output right so unless until the trip wire is connected to the circuit right until the trip wire is on until the trip wire is intact in your house until the trip wire is not breached by any intruders the circuit will the triple five will not emit any square wave output when this when an intruder enters and break this trip wire that's when this r1 will pull the reset pin to high volt that is vcc or high logic and once it happens it the uh, triple five timer a stable multi vibrator will start producing series of square wave pulse right this goes into the capacitor this capacitor will remove all the dc elements and only allow uh, square wave pulse pure square wave pulse to pass through it right and this is our this is our speaker and it will give a loud sound that alerts you and scares the intruders away right so yeah important things to note trigger and threshold these are these two are connected these once the capacitor voltage goes down and up above one uh, goes down below 1.3 vcc 1 divided by 3 vcc or goes above 2 divided by 3 vcc it turns itself up uh, logic uh, turn itself alternatively from logic 1 and 0 and that's why we will get square wave pulse and reset pin uh, needs to be connected to high in order to work but here we have connected it to ground using a trip wire until the trip wire breaks it will not work when it breaks the resistor r1 will pull it to high state and you will get the square wave pulse and as a result your alarm circuit will work right so that's all about this circuit hope this was informative to you i've also added this circuit in our website where you can see all the mathematical calculations behind the circuit and all the frequency calculation time period calculation behind it that will give you more insight into this you i have left the link in the description below you can follow it and it will be a great help for you as we progress into the series, we'll look at more complicated circuit with its working explanation as well as the calculations behind it. Do check out the electronic circuits library in our website where we have hosted about 200 plus circuits, each one categorized as per their uh, category and uh, it will be easier for you to browse and uh, it will be pretty much useful for you to bookmark and come back later as it will be updated with circuits every week so do check that out and i have left the link for electronic circuits library in the description as well do check that out and bookmark the page and come back later for more circuits that brings us to the end of our video hit the like button if you really find it useful and share it with your friends do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos from this circuit series and other projects as well thanks for watching see you in the next episode